Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the gimbal tension on the Radio Master TX16S. Okay, there are four screws on the back, two down here, two up here. I've already taken those out. Those are Phillips screws. And then on the top, there's a 2.5 millimeter hex screw on either side of the antenna. So we'll just pop those out. Now the side grips have to come off. Okay, so that's nice. The back panel comes off, and if you remember on the Tyrannus, in order to do that, there were all kinds of little connectors you had to disconnect. On the throttle, if you want to adjust the friction, that's the spring on the left. If you want to adjust the ratchet mechanism, that's the spring on the right. As I feel the throttle, I definitely want more tension on mine. That just feels a little too soft. I want a little more pressure. So all I'm doing is using my, you can see the gimbal's moving, and I'm, I'm moving it with my finger while I tighten up this spring a little bit until I get it where I want it. Okay, that feels pretty good to me. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. This is purely subjective. This is what feels good to you. And now I'm gonna adjust the ratcheting feel of the radio by screwing this one down a little tighter. I have mine pretty much floored. That's pretty much at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over and give it a try with my throttle thumb and see what I think. Okay, that actually feels too tight. That's too tight. So I don't like that. That has to be loosened up a little bit. Try it again. I'm, I keep going back to my Tyrannus and comparing the feel on my Tyrannus. Okay, that's starting to feel pretty good. I think still a little bit looser. Okay, that feels pretty solid right there. I like that. And I like the ratchet feel like that. It's not overbearing but I know it's there I can feel I can feel the click so I'm, I'm good with that that feels really good to me okay now to adjust the yaw there's another spring right here and the yaw tension is right there and you adjust this one with a 1.5 millimeter hex head I'm gonna give mine just a couple little twists I think it could be a little bit tighter so a couple little turns to the right yeah that feels pretty good. Now I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, maybe a little too tight. So I'm going to loosen it back up just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, that feels good to me. Elevator needs a little tension on the elevator. So that, the pitch tension. Now here's the elevator gimbal is over here on this side. You can see the spring that's moving and the tension adjustment, if you don't have any reference next to you, the tension adjustment is always right next to the spring. So look for the spring that moves. You can see that the spring, when I move that elevator, there's the spring that moves right there. So the tension adjustment is right next to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of tension to my elevator, not a lot. It doesn't need much, but just a little. Now I'm gonna flip it over and try it. Perfect. Yeah, that feels good. Let me try the Tyrannus. I actually have a little more on the Tyrannus, so I'm going to go ahead and make it feel like what I'm used to. So a couple more turns. That feels good. That feels good. All right. I like that. And then the roll adjustment. The roll adjustment actually feels like it's spot on. I don't think I need anything there. Okay, so there's my adjustment on my gimbals. I feel much better about that. So again, I'll just recap this real quick so you have a good look. On the right-hand side right here, that's a Phillips screw. That is your ratchet adjustment. On the left-hand side, that's your throttle friction. And then your yaw. Your yaw tension is right here. And then on this side, your elevator tension is right here and your aileron tension is right here. Remember, look for the spring that moves, and then right next to it, there's an adjuster right there.